Oh, you better do. Oh, the camera's going to die as well. Typical. <laughs> if it's not my phone, it's my camera. Oh, Abby's phone never has any charge. It never does, like... <laughs> Or the camera. And all the camera. To be fair, I feel like I can't talk recently. My phone charge is um, really on its last legs. I do need a new phone, but you know why I can't get a new phone now. We need to hold off on the new phone situation. Yep. But I am going to get a new one, but then all the cameras are shite, so I'm like, what's the point? Well, that's the same as me, and I actually thought about upgrading my phone just to get that road phone case. So I did I. Like, no, that's silly. I think what I'm going to do is get the new iPhone, but keep my iPhone 13 Pro Max. Yeah, that is for an option. Work stuff. And just delete all the apps off it, and then I think that'll slow my. That'll yeah, be better because my phone's going so fucking slow. Because it has so much on it. Yeah. But I, I do want a new phone as well because the battery on this is so bad. But the cameras are apparently really bad. Everyone's in the videos as well. Apparently, oh, really no. bad on the 15. We can't have. Them. Can't have. Them. It's fucking bad enough as it is in Glasgow. Never mind adding a shake phone to the mix. We'd be good. Maybe do up the job. <laughs> but we're going to pulp. I was just at Abigail's there. She's so kind and lets me shoot some content in our house. It's fun when um, we're both there doing it. Yeah, and we're, we are very, like we are quite quick together. Yeah, we are. So we managed to get that done in like less than an hour. And it's just good to have a wee helping hand if you need yeah. it. Yeah, just my mum and dad's house. Just it's just stressful in there sometimes. So <laughs> I just have to leave the premises. Um, and then now we're just going to go to pulp. But if my camera dies, then I'll show you. Well, I won't show you. But if it doesn't, I'll show you. Bye. Hey guys. Um, what I had to say today was and now I'm just making myself some dinner um, I not as I mentioned but I was, I'm back with Sin um, there are like classes that you go to and it's like um, PT, nutrition, things like that I used to do it so I used to train with Dale Burke like before lockdown and during lockdown and then um, this is his thing with his business partner Ryan. Um, so I'm back doing that. Um, so I've just been like, today's like my first, I'd say like, I was doing it and then um, I had loads on and kind of fell away from it. So I'm back on it properly today. So I'm just following like one of the recipes, but I'm making it for me and my dad. And then I've got enough to make for tomorrow's dinner. Also, by the way, if anyone's ever like looking for a pasta sauce, it's quite low in calories. The M and S one's actually quite good. Um, so it is this one, just everything tomato. It's called. Um, it's actually not bad. So I'm just using that for reasons tonight, because it is quite late already. And then I'm trying to cut out gluten as much as possible. So like things like pasta, um, things like that. Like I've just been having cereal in the morning instead of like bread all the time. Um, so also if you, either, not even if you want to be gluten free, but if you're someone who feels that like pasta and stuff really bloats you, then when you end up with a sore belly, like I know some of my friends would eat pasta, it gives them a sore belly and like they don't have a gluten intolerance then. Honestly, I really recommend them and Essie's gluten free section. I think it's personally really good. Um, when I used to be like proper, proper gluten free, I actually stuck to it. I mean, I think I stuck to it for a month, but still. It was always, always, always m and S. I I hate this pepper that my mum's got. Heavy shite, nothing to do it, honestly. This is why I can't wait to come back in my own place again, because I see my old house, I loved cooking. Love, absolutely loved it. And I'm also like, I can't wait till like, I'm back and like in a relationship with someone and like they're coming in from work and I'm making them dinner. Like I used to fucking love making dinner for someone. It actually was like my my thing. I loved it. So if anyone's out there wanting a, a girlfriend that does the wife shit, let me know. Um, one thing I'm terrible at testing you on it is when pasta's ready. Not very good at it. Well, I need a bit more pasta water. But yeah, I'll show you my dinner when it's ready, right? Okay. Please excuse how messy that bowl is because I had to weigh out my pasta, so I had to toss it in this bowl. But um, that's dinner. It wasn't really appetising in this bowl, but yeah. 
Can't wait to hear. Hi guys, just home from Sin. That was really good this morning. Up my weights again this morning. Um, so see when you go, they've got like their own app. Um, and, oh shit, did I not? I need to get put in my final. Um, what was that? I did as well. Hold on. Hip extension, so that was 10, 10, 10, at 20, 10, 10, 10, 10, 20, 10, 10, 10, 10, 20. Right. So like that's your workout, so when you're in there like you add all your weights and then it tells you your previous week, like what weights you did. So like today, uh, barbell hip thrust with 70, <laughs> then I rock 75. Yeah, extremely hard. Right, two seconds, Coco. Cool, cool. Quickly, I think I'm being done. Save. Just went a quick food shop. Um, I don't know how high I can put you. Um, there, so I'll quickly run through what I've got. I need to quickly put my, my bacon, my air fryer, bacon in the air fryer. So like I said last night, I'm also not doing 1000% gluten free, but I am trying my hardest where I can. So, um, also just off topic, got them, Peril strawberries. Um, hope they're nice. So tonight I'm having the pasta again, so that'll be that done. And then tomorrow night's dinner, I'm going to have this um, these are like beef chunks, right? With just about Asda. Season's moving from um, Rob Royce and right? I used to go to obviously Rob Royce and Asda. That was my my shop. I obviously don't step foot near that Asda anymore. That's it's just weird. Let's see you move away. Obviously, like sad terms. I actually can't even go near that Asda or really up that neck of the woods, it just makes me sad. So I don't go to Asda, but today I drove by the Asda Parkhead and I thought, I'm gonna go in there and a bit of trip to memory lane. So I got protein noodles, stir fry, and I picked up this Wagamama firecracker, but I'm not gonna use loads of it because I don't want it too hot and I can't handle the one at a Wagamama. I can handle heat, like, but that's just not level. Um, so I got that for dinner. I got some gluten free that, so I'm going to make me quickly breakfast tacos. And I got the bacon medallions. You can't even get these in Tesco, the bacon medallions, for some reason. And obviously that's the ones that don't have, or, well, not that don't have fat, but they're like less fat. So that's why I prefer nice and love going to ask them, because I felt like I brought loads of good stuff in there. Um, Per 100 gram, how many grams? 200, so 8 so per 4 is. That's what we're after. So, yeah, I'm going to make them, and Asta's the only place I can get this sauce, and it's a weird taste. I don't know what it is. I just pure love it in my tacos. And then I've got them, it's like sometimes, like if I'm really hungry before bed, I don't want to have like toast, so. Like one of those wee bits of crumpet with honey or one of them a wee bit of Nutella. It's like a wee bit of a treat. And then I got like broccoli in that, so and I got honey for my coffee. But I'm gonna just leave out what I need this morning. Avocado wraps. So yeah, I'm really on track this week with eating and making sure that I've been eating is going to be quite good. Um I do have the Charlotte Tilbury event on Thursday and I don't think the girls are going to struggle before it. Um, but, like that's, I can just get like a nice tomato pasta or like they do a sea bass pasta, I could probably get that and then I'll just be like extra good during that day, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm gonna make my breakfast, but what I'll do is I'll come back and show you once it's done. And you can judge me on my, my breakfast skills. Um, okay. You okay guys, so this is the weed apps. Bacon, egg, avocado, ketchup, rest my coffee. 
Do a voice voice to me. So I took a bit of that one. Emergency. Oh, what happened? So, I'm gonna check. Okay. Um, her father's in the hospital. Oh, I'm sorry. So, I just wanna check on her. Hey, how are you? I am in there. These people call parents. You never know what's gonna happen to them. I know. They're gonna come back Friday. Okay. So, I am a little stressed, okay. but, you know, I did. So. This is unbelievable. Hi guys, right, so I'm now on my way to a Bly meeting. Meeting the girls at Angels today. False alarm, I thought I'd forgot my bloody lip gloss. Um, meeting the girls at Angels today because I've got, got to chat through quite a lot today, like quite a lot of big dates big jobs things that we really need to get like final like answers on we have two things one thing that was actually meant to be the end of February but we moved it just because we were we didn't have the right stuff um, the right stock and things like that so and we really didn't want to rush it because it could be quite a big deal for us so um we just postponed that so we need to discuss like what are at what we want to do with that basically um it's quite a big deal so that's one of the big things we need to discuss today and then the second big thing we need to discuss today is um a possible uh, i'm going to ask her if i keep listening possible 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 collab like like this i think i'll be like keep it in it's hilarious, right? Because I'm always like, I'm a, honestly, you could ask me it and I'd tell you my full life story. Um, I'm very much an open book, whereas sometimes I'm like, I don't know if I was allowed to say that. Um, so we need to have a discussion about that today, just like where we're at with all of that. And yeah, sad and times. Um, so I'm going to do that today, kind of plan where I want to be. And then, I don't know if I've said yet, but I'm going to a psychic today. So... Megan had went to a psychic and um, like I, I'm up for psychics, I'm all for them, like I, I believe in all of that but like I don't like wipe my way to go and get one um, <clears throat> but Megan felt at the time that she want, she needed answers or like wanted clarity or answers and, um, and I think at that time she was like I'm going to go get one and I was like okay fine that was one for that day but I was like I know there's a woman I think it's called Kitty her name is Kitty or it is Kitty I'm sure she's in the Savoy Centre but she was shut so Megan got this person who she went to and Megan was like when Megan told me and Abigail on the way to the airport at Palma um, at my, my job guys was honestly why are you indicating for what feels like a fucking lifetime mate like get in or get out, you know what I mean? Um and no joke guys, like even things that like no one really knew about that maybe Megan's told me and Abigail when the woman was getting it spot on, it was mad. Then I came through on Megan's reading, right? Now I don't mind discussing it now, but it wasn't something that I like, just didn't feel the need to bring it up, it was not nothing major. Um but obviously, as you guys know, I got my boobs done and they were terrible. Um, and to be fair, I got them, they were redone and they're not any better, if I'm honest. Looks wise they are, but actually how they were, like, everything about them is just not really good. Um, and I keep constantly getting like infections and really like sore boobs like, and it's quite sore, like actually like, painful. Um, and basically um, I had a big lump on my boob that appeared and was really really sore and I was really concerned about it and I'd been to the doctor, had been on antibiotics, nothing was budging so we didn't know if it was an infection or if it was something else um, and then they'd sent me to like the hospital to get like a breast check type of thing. Um, 
thankfully it just turned out to be a really really nasty infection that had to go on antibiotics for and whatever else um, but obviously my appointment from the GP to the hospital there was like a couple of weeks wait so that couple of weeks wait I was really anxious and I think just because of everything that has been kind of going on in my life like I'd probably seen the last year and it's still kind of going on and out it was just like a worry that I didn't need and I think it was like a stress that I, it, probably in a normal person's head it would have been fine but I think because I was so up to high dough I thought on oh, knowing my fucking luck it'll be the worst possible case scenario thankfully though it wasn't so whole point of gravel is that I came through on Megan's reading so she said to Megan one of your friends had a lump recently and she was really worried and I think friends and family were a bit worried and it turned out just to be nothing now nobody knew that right I told my mum and dad and I think my very close some of my close friends knew um, only because I was a bit worried and yeah um, so that was never something I had spoke about obviously nothing that Megan had spoke about this lady didn't know like Megan's second name so she couldn't have searched on Instagram and then like tried to like whatever so I was like and I don't know see because I came through on Megan's reading I just felt like that was a sign for me to go you know I don't know I could be way off the mark with this right but I just thought you know what I'm going to go so it's today that's this whole six minutes has been a bit it's today and I'm, I'm like I, I'm excited but I'm also very nervous because I I don't know what she's going to say I mean I don't I don't know I really don't know what she's going to say like I remember someone I was around I didn't know them and they'd said that they 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 really like energy stuff like that and they said that they could feel a lot of sadness from me so I'm wondering like is that how this all works like do they read your energy do they read like your moods I don't get it I, I don't get it but I, I believe in it so um see if I get stuck behind one more truck where are you all coming from like get off the roads um but yeah I'm excited I mean I will have a fucking freak if she says to me you're never going to meet the man of your dreams and you're never going to be a mum but I don't think they're allowed to tell you that um, preferable she says you're never going to meet in her arse so I'd be like okay I'm going to carry on through life loving it um, oh, I think he's broke down um, but yeah so that's after my meeting today so I am going to go now and then um, I'll even try and vlog wee clippets and stuff if we're if um, we're not talking about you know private um, and then um, I'm at the, uh, Pat, Megan said to me you can record you're sitting down with the psychic obviously I won't do it for the YouTube but I'm going to vlog um, sorry record her voice so I'll see if I'm allowed to maybe if it's anything that I don't mind sharing maybe I'll pop it in here and you can hear it um, but I'm really excited yeah nervous but yeah have a good day this is nice. iconic. Watching. How was the weekend? Did you go on a date? What? No. Rose. Fire up that Hinge account? No. I mean, it's like a... <laughs> I'm going to go hang out with Allie. Oh, you Allie? I made like a bassa, sea f uh, fish fillet, sea fillet, fucking hell, and salad, basically, for lunch. And I've got to be diet and brew. But, excuse the state, me. Not looking my best. I took my... I put bingos in this morning. I went a bit wacky. And... Because I was meant to be going out to do content when my plans changed, so I just ended up having a clear out upstairs. Um, I also have been trying not to put the fake tan on because I've got my best one's wedding next week, which I'm trying to cover my tan off for, like off, off for. Um, so today we're going to get our final like dress fittings really for the dress. So we're meeting at like four o'clock in time. Um, so I don't want like a pure carby lunch, but also I'm really hungry and I'm also trying to like this food plan so bon appetit bitches but I'm in such a low mood today I can't really work it out um I went to the psychic obviously yesterday, I don't know if it was that. 
Who did say that it's possible after it to feel drained? But that was more last night that, but today I feel quite drained, like quite ugh. Not sure what it is. Um but anyway, I'm sure my middle picked up wants to try on my dress. I'm excited. Right, this has been my first bridesmaid experience. So I'm really, really excited. Hi guys, I'm just gonna take off my makeup. I made my dinner there, but I fucked it. It was disgusting actually. Because I didn't really eat it. I'm not like hungry though, but I know I'm gonna be later on, but I'm just not gonna eat anything because I'm trying to be good. But I went and tried on my bridesmaid dress for my friend Nadia's wedding. And just as well, she double checked. So she'd ordered quite a few sizes. Um, because she was adding material from dresses onto her dresses, so she had to order more dresses. Um, and her sister lives in Dubai, so she's not coming back till like five days before the wedding. And basically, ah, uh, the bags got switched. So I had tried on her dress, which would have been fine for Jade, because there was still other sizes there, so she would have been fine. Um. But when I put my dress on, it just felt like it needed a lot of taking in. And, like, to be fair, when I first tried it on back last year, I was a whole stone and a couple of pounds heavier. So I did think I was going to be slimming in it. But I also just didn't think it looked right on me. And then very, very last minute, Nadia was like, can I check if there's another dress? And my dress was in a different bag. So then I put the dress on that it was meant to be. And it just needed taking up at the boobs because obviously when I lose weight, it, is, it tends to show first in my face and my boobs. Um, never my belly, unfortunately. But we managed to get it all fixed and it, it, it's going to be gorgeous. Like now I've tried it on, I'm like, can't wait to wear it on the day. Um, and I ordered new shoes because I'm going to just wear, wear like a really, really short heel because I'm the tallest out of everyone. So I don't want my dress you, that you see my toes and I also don't want to overpower everyone and be too tall. And then I look like the pure tree trunk next to everyone. So I got sent this lovely um, neon candle. Can't think of the word there. This one is a mandarin yang yang and jasmine. It's gorgeous. So we're just gonna sound. Paul, do you know if there's any matches? No, it's finished. <clears throat> um, but I am just going to take off. Hi, Coco Loco. Hiya, hen. Oh, there's your brother as well. Hi. Is everyone saying hi to the vlog? Say hello, vlog. How are you, vlog? No, no, stop it. What do I keep telling you? Mummy to, <gasps> no, stop it Coco. Go down for that. No, I'm not talking to you. That's naughty. Be nice. Stop biting his tongue. Be nice to your brother. She will not share me. It's really, really bad, honestly, guys. I've had behaviourist dog trainers, puppy classes, dog classes, doggy daycare to try and untrain her out of that, but to be brutally honest, nothing bloody works. You're licking my wee ankle, babes. Mm, you're just a wee ginger man. Oh, I love you. One. I hate when I hates when I wear silky jammies because they pure slides of it. I love you, you love me. We were happy for more we What is that? Is that? I'm sure. Yeah, okay, mommy loves you. What? Oh no, I pure want this candle. 
screw tape my bedroom, Paul. Oh, I knew I'd seen them somewhere. Cheers. Why don't you want to go out? I want. I'm going to shut the door a little bit. You make up your mind. Um, I tidied this room today, so I just need to put away some of the rest of the clothes. Um, tomorrow I'm going to Charlotte Tilbury event. Me and the girls are going for a sugo before. Um, we have Abigail not going because she goes to Marrakesh tonight. Actually, she's Coco. Oh, she doesn't bark. Coco! She's a pure barker than I Um, Yeah, she'll wait at Marrakesh with Taylor for a wee trip. So she won't be there, but Megan will be, Monique will be, Kirsten's gonna go, and Amy B and Caitlin from Aquarius are going. So, a nice wee night. <laughs> Difference in my face. Um, But yeah, I'm just in a bit of a weird week this week. It's like, I feel like. There's been so much going on, like, in my personal life. And I think it really, sometimes, like, I'm very good at putting on a good front and, like, not letting it bother me. Or, or it does bother me, but I just don't show it. And then I think, like, I get sometimes it's just, like, really tired and, like, exhausted. And I get, like, kind of, like, quite down. Um, and, like, I do take stuff from for having anxiety because I get it up. Recently, but it's been the worst it's ever been. Um, so I'm not sure if it's that or I need to actually check my flow up <laughs> in case it's my time of the month, Drew, because sometimes that can affect it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just really chill this week. Like, I'm going to that event tomorrow, I've got the gym tomorrow as well. PT, I think I'm gonna go a walk with Sean either tomorrow or Friday. Then Friday I've got a facial which I'm going to take you along for but it's for um I'm going to Maria at Skinderella. Um the last time I so I got the two girls so I either go to Rachel McDonald, um I got to her just for like general facials and like derma planning and like um things like that. Maria I have had this one done before and I got it done before um, I was going somewhere and it really made my skin lovely so that's what I'm getting done for Nadia's wedding. It's, I think it's called the red carpet facial it is basically everything your skin needs and it just really really hydrates your skin um which i could really be doing with just now so that's what i'm getting done um with maria on friday and then um what am i doing friday night nothing friday night saturday i might be seeing my friend Darren because she's going to be home from dubai but i we're just going to wait and see what her plans are because she also is getting married this year. Um, but this trip home, she has a lot on. She's got, obviously we've got Nadia's wedding and she's got like a lot of like finalising of her wedding stuff to do as well. Um, and also see friends and family. So I know she'll be busy. So I will see if I'm seeing her on Saturday night. And then um, Sunday. What was I doing Sunday? Nothing Sunday, I'm going to go up, I think I'm going to take the dogs to the West End on Sunday, um, get a coffee, chill with them, go on a nice big walk around like Byers Road and that, and then Sunday night, um, really random, instead of a takeaway this week, my dad was like, I'd love like a steak baguette, so I'm going to go a uh, um, Donald's a Butcher. I think. Paul, what's that butcher called you go to? Right, Donald's a Butcher. And get some steaks and then we're going to make steaks steak baguettes so that's going to be like my treat this week um and then yeah next week it's going to be go 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 i'm actually really busy with work stuff next week and then i'm really busy with like prep for the wedding like um i've got like brow appointment lash appointment um getting like the front of my hair lightened then i've got uh what else have i got spray tan but then I've also got work and I'm going to try and take off all my tan. So I reordered the rose and caramel. Um, the rose and caramel tan remover. I honestly think it's the only tan remover that works. 
genuinely. Mm. And it's not an ad. Um, what did I do with my skin? Yeah, it's not an ad. Like, I've never done even free gift or anything like that with that company. Um, but it just is really the best. It's the only thing that takes your tan off. I would say for, like, a proper, proper good getting rid of your tan, I always go in two nights in a row. So, like, just to really, really get it off. But then that's just because my skin seems to really take, really hold, like, absorb tan. It goes weird. So, I feel like to proper get it off. So, because I'm getting a spray tan next Friday, I realistically don't even want to put tan on next week. I'm actually going to try and not and, like, take it off Monday night. Leave my skin Tuesday, really, really moisturise. Take it off Wednesday night. Really, really moisturise, really, really moisturise Thursday and then get my spray tan Friday so my skin is, like, fresh. Um, so that's my aim of the game for next week. Um, there probably will there be a vlog. I'll try and vlog next week, but it just depends, like, what I've got on if I've not got loads on because... I've got all that on and I probably won't. I'll maybe do a different type of video. Um, but, yeah. You're obviously next week you'll have the makeup video anyway. So, hopefully that's that'll make up for there not being a vlog. Um, but I'm really looking forward to my friend Nadia's wedding. I really, honestly, adore Nadia. I think she's, like, one of the best people ever, like... And I'm so, so grateful to have her in my life because she's just the best. Like, she's just one of those people that just, like, she just knows what to say and she's, she always knows when you're not right, all right or, like, she always knows how to cheer you up and she's so unexpected at times. Like, she's just, like, you never know when you're, what way you're going to get, Nadia. Like, sometimes she's, like, just, like, she's so unintentionally funny. But that's what I mean. Like on nights out, she'll hang out with stuff, and you're actually in stitches. And then now when stuff like sticks years later, and you still say it, that's like I feel like in our friend group a lot of the time it's came from like Nadia. Um, she's just hilarious. Um, so I'm really really excited to actually one go to her wedding, and also I'm really excited that I'm bridesmaid at the wedding, and Kieran, I her future hubby. I adore him in every way. He's just the best guy ever. He's so lovely. He's just, you always get him the same way. He's always so friendly. Um, they're a perfect match. So I cannot wait to be part of the wedding. Um, so yeah. And Minnie, my friend Minnie will be my date again for the wedding. This will be my third wedding where me and Minnie have dated up together, partnered up. Um, it is mad. It's a mad, <laughs> a mad thing going to a wedding. Um, but me and Minnie, fucking, we were, got that two peas in a pod. Um, oh my god, tell me what's better than putting on skincare. Oh wait. Um, so yeah, that's that's that. But like I was saying, I'm just not really feeling in the best headspace to really this week. So, I have learned this year that, um, obviously I think I've mentioned it before that I actually have been to like, therapy, counselling, what do you call it? Is it therapy, counselling, what would you call that? I feel like therapy is very American. In Scotland, they're Glasgow, say counselling. You know I mean, I don't know. Both the same thing. Um, and like that, it was just really learning about setting boundaries with people and setting boundaries with myself. And, like, I seem to get really overwhelmed when I feel this way. Like, I put a lot of pressure on myself to try and talk myself out of it. Or, like, no, I can't have a down day or I can't feel like this. Or I should be over whatever by now. Or I should be able to be alright with that by now. Or just whatever. Um, And I think because, like, my situation hasn't just been a clean break. I think like, there's been so much going on. Um, Like, obviously moving out the flat and things like that. Like, it is. It's definitely a pure up-down roller coaster. So that's the time um but i do feel like i'm getting there but sometimes i just have these really overwhelming moments and i'm just like it's fine to be like that so today i've just been like it's cool but mom and dad are away into the social today it's pure random they have the best dating life they do it all the time my dad was like come on in morning get park in town and come with me and your mum he's obviously doing that for a lift up the road i'm not daft 
But um, I'm like, no, I don't want to be seen out the night. I'm fucking barking. Look at me. He's like, stop it, Abby. I'm like, no, John. He's like, well, I've done a pizza. I said, no. No, try to be good. Um, so, yeah, that's, I don't know where I've went with this conversation at all. But <coughs> I am going to actually, by the way, guys, probably not this week or next week, so there's no point in me even bullshitting you. It is going to be said, no. Do a hair care and um, skin care video of like what I use because my hair care is quite a big job. It's like I use certain products and I use certain stuff for drying my hair, certain stuff like after my hair type of thing. So I will definitely get around to filming that. The makeup video will be next week. So we're right back on the one a week, hopefully. Um, and then we'll definitely make it to be up to two once more. More is happening, but yeah. This isn't ending. I don't know why I act like it's ending. But yeah. Skincare done. I'm going to get into my bed. I think I'm going to start watching Married um, Married at First Sight. Is that what it's called? Um, I used to watch it. Um, but I haven't watched this one. Everyone said it's really good. So I think I might start that. I did watch a thing on the BBC or Netflix called Angela Black. But I should not watch it. Um, if you haven't watched The Kin. Oh. I think I actually could be watch it, you know. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Really funny story, right? So a boy I was talking to told me to watch it and I was hungover, so I ended up watching the whole one ep series in one day and then I rattled through the second series because there's only two series series. Um and at the ending I thought he was at the bit that I was at and I told him the ending. He told me to watch it and I ruined it for him. How bad's that? Shocking. I did feel quite bad actually. I was like, what do you mean? He was like, no, what do you mean? I'm like, oh. <gasps> then literally as I said that reply, it must have happened on his tail and he was like, can't believe you've just done that. And I was like, honestly, sign me off. Maybe that's how I'm single. <laughs> but yeah. Pointless stories. I need that Natasha bed and feel the light card. Oh, we like to be a bit of Nash. Be a bit of Nash. Be a bit of Natasha. I need to get a bend on it. Unwritten. Oh, right, we'll let, let it connect uh. to the car. <laughs> what are you stressing for, John? Well, is the first, thing, stress I'm, the first thing I've got to say so that I don't stress is how much petrol have we got? Two oh, mile, oh, twenty two mile. Uh, I think we're gonna have to seventy five. Ready? Seventy five. Ah, sorry. We might get it home. We uh, might get it down back. Right, we're gonna go for the chorus. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm not saying. No, don't you say it. The rest is to learn That's the quote I'm gonna go by. Oh, so you say like, like your the rest is still unwritten. It's actually so true, but life. Of course it's like you know, the rest of your life has not been written yet. That's, that is so true. So. Good by our life. That's it. F hopefully for you, all good. Our luck's changing, John. That is. Isn't it? Aye, big time. Big time. I'm hungry, man. No, no. Dad, I've just done a workout. Uh, well, we'll get something when we come back. Oh, don't talk a lot of shit. You ready for one more chorus? No. <laughs> I'm actually going to put the flash on my phone so you can see it better. Steaks, Annie. With chips. Looks good, doesn't it? Banging, John. Banging. Ready to eat. I tried to chop it up. Alright, well, let me just. Wow. Mmm. I'm just going through it, that's right. I'm just going to have to use just a mustard meal. I'll 
Dan. Dan. Dan Coco. Dan. Wow, I've got it done myself. Mm-hmm.